I'm from the Mistawasis First Nation in Saskatchewan. My name is Ruth Adams. I'm Swasin First Nation, and my Aboriginal name is Quistania, from my grandmother's side from Nanaimo. The Cree language. Yes, I love my language. I regret that it's being lost. Um, there's so much to be. There's so much lost by the loss of our language. What contributed to the loss of my language, I think, was colonialism. The attitude towards our people by the new people who came to our land. The attitude that, and the belief that our culture and our language didn't come from God. The fact, I think the, the attitude, the, I guess the ignorance of, of the Europeans who came to this land and didn't take the time to try to understand who we were and what we were all about. I don't know any of the, any of the words and, and that's what's so sad. It's sad for me because that's the first thing people ask you. So do you know your language? And how dare anyone ask me if I know my language when it was taken away and outlawed? Outlawed, imagine that. Outlawed, can you believe that you would, someone wouldn't come along and throw you in jail for speaking your language? So, so it's, it's, I think it's very rude and it's very sad of uh, the people to expect us to know our language and to, do our regalia and do our dances when it was taken away and outlawed. It makes it very difficult. So, but this is why I do this. This is my regalia, because we're the salmon people. So I do this for my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, to show them that, that we still have our ancestors with us. I do this for my mom and my dad, or for my grandparents. They didn't have this chance to speak to Canada the way I can speak now, so this is my gift to my ancestors and to my children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. it wasn't just a residential school. I went to public school in Mission and De Roche. Up, that's where my father comes from, Staelis, not Chehalis, Staelis. And so I went to public school and uh, no one spoke the language then. And when I was with my grandparents, they spoke it sometimes in the house when we were alone. And that was uh, Peter and Sophia Jacobs of Sawasan First Nation. So that's the only way that I knew we even had a language. Because we lose so much by the loss of language. We lose the knowledge, the wisdom of the old days, of the old people, of the old ways. We lose um, our self-esteem, our because you, as a, as a First Nations person, you can't deny who you are, and your heart doesn't let you. So you have to embrace who you are, regardless of who you are, where you come from. I think that's just human nature. In order to be complete, in order to be healthy, you have to embrace who you are. Oh, for me, it's, it's difficult, even though uh, I don't have the language when I speak to people and try to explain how what I think, what I think my opinion and my views of things are. I always think that they're talking backwards to me because even with the English language, I can't explain things. And I think it's why that is with the English language, society puts, puts makes those words into things that are not even in a dictionary anymore. 
So I find it very difficult to use those English words the way they're supposed to be used. Oh, most of them. It's, it's a descriptive language. So to try and say lawyer, for example, someone that speaks for somebody else, that's very long description because we didn't have lawyers in our language. Um, and uh, priest, um, um, I'm here we know it's a prayer man or a, I'm here with square for a nun, um, prayer woman. So it's difficult to make those because there are cultural differences. Yeah. I try to speak Cree with my grandchildren, teach them a few words, but because they don't live close to me, it's hard to do that. Mm. Lost our language for me and my generation. I'm 71 years old, eh? and my parents didn't speak, so they lost it. But for now, with our treaty of Swasin, we're teaching the young ones how to speak our language, how to make them, and it's very difficult. Well, it's it's to do with the spirit. It's a spiritual thing. I don't think you ever really lose your cultural identity because it's also your spiritual identity. And even though I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus, I, there's still something about it that makes Jesus Cree. Well, my experience with our language as an adult is really quite sad um, because as we were growing up, we were told that we could not speak our language. And I didn't go to residential school. This happened with people. It didn't matter whether you went to school or not. I grew up in the reserve. Um, and we were made to feel ashamed of our language. Like you were less of a person if you spoke your language or if you knew your language. And you didn't want to be Indian anymore or Cree anymore. You wanted to speak English and you wanted to be uh, known as someone who was, who was with it in terms of the English language. And uh, yeah, they succeeded very well in, in making us ashamed of who we were, not just of our language, but of who we were and who we are. So uh, in school, um, it was really hard to um, grow up with the rejection of our, our uh, Indigenous identity. But, uh, and as an adult, adult now, I know some people who, uh, who do still speak Cree. And when I get together with them, I do uh, try and speak as much Cree. Cree is also a very fun language. Um, it's kind, it's caring, and it, you know, when I speak Cree with my friends, there's a lot of laughter, a lot of laughter. We're laughing all the time. Because I was ashamed of it and thought that maybe they were right, that something about our, our culture was evil or of not of God, um, eventually God brought me back to my identity as a Native person. And I think I've been made whole by being able to embrace both my identity as a as a Cree woman and as a, a Christian woman. I think youth need to try to retain the language. I don't know, I wish I could do more to keep the language alive. We do sing in Cree at our circles, hummingbird circles that I do here for hummingbird ministries. Um, but it's not enough. We, we, we translate some of our songs into Cree, try and teach the kids some of the songs, um, but more needs to be done. Hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey.